Good morning, folks. The mountain of fire in Guatemala continues to erupt as the evacuations spread outward. The Mount Yasser volcano in Vanuatu has been erupting for years but has increased intensity and warning level. North California took a couple larger tremors than normal yesterday. The composite list has a 4.5, a 4.0, and a 4.5 off the coast of Oregon. The Northeast Caribbean plate is taking quake swarms once more. And speaking of awakening, the Canary Islands quake list. This is normal. Some days we have one or no earthquakes. Some we have seven or eight, but under 2.0. We saw upticks on September 7th, 10th, and 11th. And after only three tremors between the 12th and 13th, the island did its Rice Krispies impersonation yesterday, snap crackling and popping with dozens of quakes as we get into this morning, already flooding the list again, and most are over 2.0. She's back on watch, folks. For the first time in a while, the NOAA buoy map shows no data centers in event mode. Here's a close-up IR enhancement of Super Typhoon Sanba, still headed for Okinawa and Nana Island. May luck shine on these people this weekend. Here's the solar wind last 24 hours and can be confusing sometimes. Looks like the speed and density are all over the place, but this chart has a dynamic legend and the numbers change on the left as they do on the right. Instead of looking from 0.1 to 100 protons in the orange, 200 to 600 on the yellow, you can see why the condensed legend makes this quiet space weather appear jumpy. Now accompanying that quiet solar wind is a quieter x-ray flux. We had been crackling with some minor sea flares, but even that has died down. Having a look at our primary active regions, very spread out and not a lot of room for collision, mixing, instability. This blue and red segment on the magnetogram gives us our beta gamma class, but this spot may be too spread to pop big flares. And even if it does, the Earth footprint is still on the opposite side of the Sun, although slowly but surely you can see that second magnetic connection come over to the left, leaving that backside footprint. We're shifting for sure. Last 24 hours of the Sun, the primary space weather concern right now has got to be the coronal holes. Slightly bigger than the last few days that we've seen, and closer to the equator as well. If you will take your eyes to the left side, that's the Sun's eastern limb, you see a plasma filament on the equator, and this will face Earth by early next week. Coming around to stereo B with the Earth off to the right, this shows what is turning in to face Earth from the backside. A couple of bright active regions, but a big, darker coronal hole at very low latitude. Last but not least, folks, I put out this video last night. It is my full theory on what is happening in our world, in our solar system. And in the description box, you're going to find my thoughts on HARP and Nibiru. I will be answering no more questions on those. Please, friends, help direct the new folks to the right info. That's the news, folks. Be safe.